friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india in this video i am going to show a unique instrument designed by me called posterior capsule protector a iris spatula has been curved in such a way that its contour conforms to the contour of the posterior capsule and it can protect the capsule very well it is about 1 mm in width let us observe this video this is a hard mature cataract by this time the incisions have been made the capsule has been stained with trypan blue dye and now the dye is being washed out BSS is being used to wash the dye out of the anterior chamber and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill up the anterior chamber here it is and now capsulorexis is to be done i take a 26 gauge band needle to raise a capsular tag and as i incise the capsule i find that there is no leakage of any fluid from the cataract so it is not an intumescent cataract and in such cases we can do rexis at on go we can do an optimum size to rexis at on go the iterator four sips is being used to complete the rexis and this is a fairly large rexis because the nucleus is quite hard we are going to see that in a short time though hydro dissection is not necessary i did a little bit of hydro and the nucleus rotated very nicely we can see degenerated epinuclear material so this is actually a stage of cataract just before hypermature morganian cataract and now the epinuclear material is removed and we see a free floating hard nucleus and in such cases i usually try to divide the nucleus with bevel down because in bevel up position it is very difficult to embed the tip of the phaco needle into the substance of the nucleus but i could not chop the nucleus so i make the bevel up and along the same track i go go to the anterior extreme and now i could chop the nucleus into a very nice chop it's not from one side to the other side but it's a nice crack and now this is another crack and the two nuclear pieces are still joined to each other by some leathery lens fibers this is another crack but no nuclear fragment is free you can see the leathery fibers joining the fragments now it came out injected visco this is 2% aspmc asked for two instruments two sinski hooks and manually tried to separate the pieces so two instruments go from go through two side ports and i try to separate the pieces 
but I find that the leathery fibers are too tough and they will not, they are not giving in. So, I also give in. I have to do this case somehow. Let us see how we can do it. Right now my plan is to trim the peripheral portion of this hard nucleus. So I hold this and I tried to separate it again but I could not. Now uh, I have started trimming the peripheral portion of this lens mass. This nuclear mass, yes. The equatorial part is being emulsified, tilting the nucleus to some extent. And here, after tilting this up to this much, I had an idea. I wanted to flip this nucleus and here it is. I have flipped this nucleus and I am emulsifying it from this side. And now I hold this and emulsify this part. So if you flip the nucleus, it becomes very easy to divide the nucleus into fragments. And now something is going to happen. See, here as I try to emulsify this, I have got the posterior capsule. I remained there and used reflux to release it. I didn't move. So whenever you catch the posterior capsule, don't move, just use reflux and you most of the time you can release the posterior capsule. And now I have divided this last part into two but I don't want to take any more risk so I'm going to use this instrument designed by me it is a posterior capsule protector it has a curve which conforms to the curvature of the posterior capsule and you get a lot of space just above this instrument to emulsify the nuclear pieces you can keep the phaco needle at the iris plane and emulsify the piece because the instrument is carved in such a way that it will go just in a position of the posterior capsule. This instrument is manufactured by Josa Surgicals but if you want to buy this please uh, we have not fixed the price yet. Please contact me through my personal contact, not in the group. And now the cortical cleanup is done. We can use bimanual irrigation aspiration also but this is a very safe instrument a 23G Simcoe cannula and now this is an irrigating probe it is being used to polish the postexel And now, uh, now an intraocular lens is being implanted 
in the capsular bag. This is hydro implantation. The antechamber is caved, formed by irrigation, and the lens is implanted. And the lens is dialed by the irrigating probe itself. And this is irrigation of the capsular bag behind the eye well. So there is no visco, and we have saved a lot of time. We are towards the end of the surgery. This is a beta of moxifluxacin. Now the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration. This is moxi. Corneal stroma on either side of the stem incisions are hydrated. The cornea becomes thick and the side ports close. The main incision is constructed in such a way that it doesn't require any hydration. So posterior capsule protector is a very good instrument particularly in cases where there is genular weakness and there is trampolining of the posterior capsule particularly in hypermature morgagnian cataracts and whenever there is little bit of surge we can use this instrument thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence